Sharks no, being hushed. Don't explain it. Will Ferrell. It's tight like a tiger? Yeah, he's the guy. What? Like it's Eye of the Tiger, Tom. No, it's, it's, it's in Starsky and Hutch. I guess when I was about 14, 15 years old, maybe younger than that, I saw the film Stand By Me. All the actors in that movie are 12, 13 years old. And after I got done watching the film, as, as crazy as that movie is, I remember thinking like, oh, well, asking my parents, did, did, did those kids make the movie? You know, I thought the fucking kids made the movie. All right, so then I was like, oh, I want to make movies. And that's really, I, honestly, it sounds as cheesy as that is. That's when I started wanting to, to make films and write screenplays and all that kind of stuff. That's what got me into it. A difficult obstacle as far as filmmaking is concerned, I would think, is basically time. It, it's all about time. You can say it's about money, but it's not. I work part-time as a bartender, and I devote most of my time to filmmaking and writing and all that kind of stuff. But what it really comes down to is the time it takes to make it. You know, a, a whole production, you can go through two years of making a film that would take you two months, but because of a time restriction, that's it. So it's really not money. Everybody always says, oh, I need more money for my project. No, you need the time to complete the project, not, not the money, you know. I made a feature film at like 19 years old, it's not that great, no one's gonna see it, but it's all right, I made it. I did it, it was an hour and a half. I got arrested in the middle of that. That was awesome. Yeah, for a, a, a fake gun being in a Wawa parking lot inside a car. I was on a hot August pavement with handcuffs on. I was two hours late to work at the video store that I worked at, yeah, I was that guy. So in the end of it all, I wound up doing 40 hours of community service for a 35 second shot that's in the film, so. 40 hours at a YMCA with a 13 year old who stole cigars. That's why he was there doing community service. I was there because I was doing a project for school. But the highlight, the, the highlight so far is probably this year where one of our short films is gonna be um, featured in an anthology film on Netflix coming in 2016. Now that one's called God Be With You. That, that's gonna be a, it was a, a contest run by iHorror.com and they're putting together an anthology of short films called By Felicia. It's kind of a goofy horror spoof thing, but it turned out very, very well. I would love to be like a Bruce Willis diehard character, but what guy wouldn't want to do that? I mean, come on. I don't want to do, I don't want to do the heartfelt, like, you know, I don't want to do a biopic. I don't want to be some. I want to like go around and like kick ass and be like covered in blood by the end of the movie. I, I got accepted to film school and I, I started and during my first year I left because I knew too many people who were, had gone to film school and then all of a sudden been out, they, got, they, got, they finished and they had no job. They were work, either had no job, they were working in a restaurant or they were working in a video store. And I figured I can do all of those things and still make movies and not be $8 million in debt. So I kind of went a different route where I went to Amazon, Borders, all those places and I looked up different college textbooks that they used at various universities all across the country and I kind of schooled myself, not to say that I'm like, you know, a savant or anything like that, but like for Christ's sake, like it's all about just doing it. It's about doing it and it's about wanting to do it and not stopping. You know what I mean? So many things inspire me. It's like I can get up in the morning and I could just, I could like crack an egg into a bowl and just think, there's a film here. No, there's not, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Like there's not, there's not one thing that inspires me. There's, you know, it could be music, could be anything. Anything inspires you. As long as you're taking the time to recognize it. You know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know, it's so cheesy. The director, Federico Fellini, said that if I were to make a, if I were to make a film about a filet of soul, it would be about me. As if to say, no matter what you're doing, what, at, what role you're in, whatever screenplay you're writing, whatever film you're trying to direct, you have to take time to like look back at it and say, okay, well, what part of me is this coming from? Does that make sense? Like there's like, it, there's something, you put, you put yourself into everything, whether you know it or not. Success means being able to do whatever it is that I would like to do all the time. I don't, if I wound up being able to be a successful screenwriter full time, I would take that. If I could be a filmmaker and direct, I would take that. If I could act full time and take that. But success is really just about feeling personally when you wake up every day that you, you, can, you can spend your time doing what you love and what makes you happy, not going to work 18 hours at a bar because you want to make sure you can't wait till your next day off to start doing what you want to do.